Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lint here. I just wanted to show you guys the demo infinite that I came up with this week. So basically I'm assuming that you guys have all seen this infinite that I'm showing you right now. This is the infinite that most people have seen. The one where you have to time your heavy hits so that every time you fall, you have to hit it perfectly, and if you miss, you might leave you with very many offense. I don't like this combo at all, uh, so basically it means that I never use the Dramama Infinite. So I came up with a way to use a series of fixed distances and air dashes so that you know when you hit the button, you're the correct distance from the ground, and you're gonna continue the infinite. So let's see that combo back in slow motion. Come in with a heavy hit, followed by flight, and then light, heavy, dark bolt. Then get in the practice of doing up diagonal and dark hole immediately, followed by falling out of the dark hole and doing a downward dash, and then hitting heavy while you're downward dashing, and then holding up so that you jump after the heavy hits in the ground. If you time this right after you fall out of the dark hole, you should be able to dash straight towards the ground and connect. To continue the infinite, you do the same motion that you do to start it up at the top. You basically float up after the first dark hole and then dash straight down and hit light instead of heavy because you're closer to the ground. But it's the exact same motion as this right here. Only you're using heavy to start it and then when you get close to the ground, you do the exact same motion here except you just hit light. This next clip is unedited footage of me trying to loop this in the training. Um, I this footage was taken about I don't know maybe an hour after I found the actual infinite the, the loop portion of it. Um, so I'd only just begun practicing it. I'm actually pretty good at it already. Uh, so it, it looks to me like it's going to be a lot easier than trying to do the, the standard following heavy. One issue that I found with this infinite already is that if you're doing your dark holes too closely together, as in you're doing the combo too quickly, it might get too high off the ground. As you can see here, the infinite would connect if I had slowed it down a bit, but because I was doing it too quickly, he did not fall into the light, so it will commit to my connect. This is the last time I'm going to show you guys the screen infinite. I'm just showing you from a different height how to set it up. It's the same thing. I'm just showing you with the uh, upper portion of the combo attached. In the corner, you're actually at a completely different height than you are mid screen. So the combo is slightly different. You want to hit light and then heavy immediately on screen entry, then flight, followed up by another light heavy and then dark blue. Then you want to float down and to the right instead of up, so that you're closer to the ground. You want to float a pretty good distance and then do your second dark hole. Fall out of the dark hole and then hit dash down heavy and then hold up, just like you did in screen. Once you've mastered that portion, to continue the infinite, you simply jump back to continue it and float up back after the first dark hole and then dash straight down the hip light, kind of like you did mid screen. And then you simply loop that kind of in a counterclockwise circle if you're facing towards the right. Here it is again, the combo in full speed for you guys. Brought to you by Moon Liquor. If you guys have any questions about how to do this combo, uh, if it's difficult for you, uh, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Just post comments, do whatever you can. 
uh, try to spread this around because I feel like this is completely different from the infinite that's out there right now. It seems like it's much better to me, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think.